water with the bios water and it will uh, uh, it will you know uh, it will give us an idea how uh, magnetic field can be created by current carrying wire so this is the very basic formula for the magnetic field due to a current carrying wire this is the fundamental law we can say like we study coulomb's law we study newton's law of gravitation same kind of thing is here with the magnetic field so suppose uh, i have a we have a current carrying wire having current i and suppose we have a point p at a distance r from the current carrying wire this is a random current carrying wire and we have taken some part of the wire so suppose uh, we consider a length suppose we consider a length dl of the wire i am considering a small section of the wire of length dl suppose this is a small section of the wire of the current carrying wire having length dl we will treat length as a vector and the direction of the vector will be along the direction of current so according to bios order which we may have already have uh, you both of you have idea something you may have uh, you know the formula so the bios order says that the magnetic field due to this current carrying element at point p is given by db is equal to mu not by 4 pi i dl current in the wire is i and i dl cross r on r q so this is the basic formula for uh, the magnetic field at a point p situated at distance r from a current carrying wire mu not by 4 pi i dl cross r upon r q or here what is the theta theta is basically the angle between this direction of current and the r so Uh, this is basically angle between dl and r so from here you can give it like this mu not by 4 pi you can write it like this i dl r sin theta upon r q so we can general formula we can get it like this mu not by 4 pi i dl sin theta by r q. so this is the general formula for the that is the vector form and this is the magnitude this is the vector form and this is the magnitude of the magnetic field at a point p situated at an angle theta so i think this all of might all of you know this formula this is the very basic formula which we all study for the class 12 lecture moving ahead so this basic formula we all know but this is very important formula this is the basic building of formation of magnetic field using this we can derive number of cases so we will see a general expression for magnetic field using this formula so anyone having any doubt in this formula i think all of you know this formula theta is the angle between i and dl when theta is the zero degree magnetic field will be zero degree when theta is 90 degree magnetic field will be maximum so this all of you understood this formula and how to use this one yes sir all right moving ahead the first application of bios award lies comes uh, <clears throat> suppose we have a wire like this suppose i have a general wire like this and current carrying wire having current i and suppose i have a point p
suppose there is a point p situated at distance r perpendicular distance r from this current carrying wire and one more thing you how to find the direction we have to find the direction by using the direction of magnetic field can be found out by using rh rule that, that is also very important right so what is the direction of magnetic field over here anyone what will the direction of magnetic field at this point p due to this current carrying wire k cap where how to find the direction sir so isn't it uh, k cap where is k what is k sir along the z axis positive z but axis here, you are going in the right direction but here k will not be appropriate thing to say uh, along k since here we don't have the axis right so we can say perpendicularly inward or perpendicularly outward or we can say inward or outward right outward sir why it is outward why not inward you know uh, basically you have to apply right hand rule and you have to see the direction of dl cross r so uh, suppose i am taking dl like this suppose this is x axis this is y axis and suppose this is z axis i am just taking it to explain so suppose current how to find i dl cross r so suppose dl is along this direction and r is along this direction so what will be the dl cross r where will be the dl cross r it will be along minus z right what will be the direction of dl cross r when you are applying a cross product you are moving from dl to r you are moving from dl to r then your thumb will give the direction of dl cross r so when you will move when you are moving from <clears throat> so here when you are moving from here to here the thumb will point inside the into the page of the uh, plane of the page right so the direction of dl cross r will be inward so here magnetic field direction will be cross for inward we give it as a cross and for outward we give it as a dot that is very important getting my point yes sir so it should be inward whenever you always remember when you have a current carrying wire on the right side magnetic field is always inward and in the left side it is outward like this in this situation getting maimuna are you getting it so i will also explain you some points like uh, before going further uh, you need to exp some explanation like suppose the point is on the wire suppose in some cases we have a point on the wire like there is a current carrying wire carrying current i and the point is lying on the wire right so what will be the magnetic field at point p due to this wire zero correct here theta is basically zero so the in this case theta becomes zero so magnetic field at point p will be in any case like this case or like the point comes like this here also here also here also magnetic field will be zero whether it is coming on the wire or it is along the line of the wire in all cases r is zero or theta is zero in that case magnetic field always becomes zero getting my point 
so this will be the case and if we talk about direction so you you should be very clear like this like if this is a current carrying wire carrying current i so in this direction magnetic field will be inward and is in this direction magnetic field will be out there is also one method which i will explain you later if you press your thumb along the direction of current and you curl your finger like this this is actually very dangerous finger so if you curl it like this here your curling finger will go into the plane and here it will come out right so in right direction magnetic field is always inward and in left direction magnetic field is outward getting my point you have to keep your thumb along the current and if you are curling finger so in right side of the wire magnetic field is always inward and in the left side it is outward understood yes sir so this is how we should find the Mamuna, are you getting how we find direction of magnetic field and how we are getting magnetic field zero at those points P at locations one and two? Are you getting it? If you have any doubt, you can ask. Mamuna. Can you hear me? Or am I clearly audible? Krishna, am I audible? Yes, sir, you are audible. All right. So, this is how we should find the direction of magnetic field as well as the magnet. Now, coming to the very first application which we were discussing, we have a point P here and we have to find magnetic field at this point P due to this current carrying wire and uh, <clears throat> suppose this point this point obviously this point will make some angle uh, with the wire suppose this end there are two ends suppose end a and end b there are two ends so this is a finite wire this is basically a finite wire this is a finite wire and suppose this line is making angle uh, suppose this one is making angle theta 1 and this is making angle theta 2 at point P the wire is making angle theta 1 and theta 2 so I will you know a derivation is not required at all i am not going into detailed derivation what will be the direction value of magnetic field at this point i will directly write the experiment with this can be found out using bio sort law and the expression is very important that is mostly used derivation is not required so at point p we will get the the magnitude of magnetic field as mu not i upon mu not i upon <clears throat> 4 pi r sin theta 1 plus sin theta 2. This is you have to by heart. This always you have to remember. This is a very important formula. And what is the direction of magnetic field here? Obviously, it will be inward. And this value will be mu naught i by 4 pi r sin theta 1 plus sin theta. This can be derived using bios Wadler, but no need for competition exam to derive. We will end up with this result, and mostly this result will be used. Getting my point? So, this is the value of magnetic field at point P due to a finite current carrying wire having current i. Any doubt? So this you have to remember this formula. Sir, but the general formula for this is actually mu naught i by 4 pi r, right? 
So that is by sword. You are talking about by sword, lah. No, sir. For finite wave. No, theta one, theta two should be there, na. Without theta one, theta two, how you can find? You are taking about about. We are talking about that for a long wire, I think. This is a finite length wire, so we must have angle theta one and theta two. Without theta one, theta two, we cannot find. Understood? We will do some question based on that. So this is the general expression for magnetic field due to a finite wire. Now here we will see special cases. Suppose in second case, case two. In first case, wire was infinite. Now suppose wire is of infinite length. Suppose wire is of infinite length. it goes like that it goes from it goes from minus infinity to plus infinity and you have to find magnetic field at a point p situated at a distance r so now here our main target will be or our main concept is to find the angle so if the wire is of infinite length what will be the value of theta 1 and theta 2 can you guess what will be the value of theta 1 and theta 2 so zero how it is zero So because the length is infinite, you can see the diagram here. The upper length is going to infinite. See, the point B is going to infinity. It is moving like this, and this is moving like this. Will angle will increase or decrease? If point A is going down and down and down. Point B is going up and up and up up to infinity. So, will theta one and theta two will increase or decrease? Increase. Basically, increase. So, how it can be zero? What will happen is, you know, the end B is now at infinity. And A is now at infinity, right? So when you are projecting lines to meet at infinity, those line becomes parallel. So this will go to infinity to meet A, right? And B, and this will go to infinity to meet B. So what will be this angle? This angle should be 90 degree or not? This angle is also 90 degree, and this angle is also 90 degree. So what will be theta one? Theta one should be ninety degree. What should be theta two? Theta two should be also ninety degree. Understood? Yes, sir. So now magnetic field due to infinite wire can be calculated as mu naught i by two pi. Sorry, four pi r. We know type by four pi r sine ninety degree plus sine ninety. It means what will be that? We know type by four pi r into sine ninety is one one plus one two. So we will get we know type by two pi. This is the magnetic field at a distance r. Basically, r is perpendicular distance from the wire. So, magnetic field at a perpendicular distance r from an infinite current carrying wire is mu naught i by two pi r. Understood. This can also found by using Ampere's law, which we are going to study. So, this is the that formula can also be generalized to find the magnetic field due to infinite wire. Understood? 
sir if one side is infinite and other side is finite yeah that we can do also that we we are going to do so in that case we have to put the angles if one side is infinite so for infinite side you have to put one angle like 90 degree or for finite side whatever is the angle given you have to put that value suppose theta 1 is finite so uh, suppose upper side is going to infinite so theta 1 will be 90 degree suppose lower side is finite suppose theta 2 is 45 degree so you have to put that getting my point yes sir now we will see third case suppose we have infinite wire like this and we have to find magnetic field at a point at just one end this is infinite wire but its one end is like here and other end is going to infinity getting my point so we have to find magnetic field at the first end second end is going to infinity this is very long wire but we have to find magnetic field at this point p which is at a perpendicular distance r from one end getting my point yes sir so in that case what will happen is what is theta now you have to see here what what are theta 1 and theta theta 2 is upper side theta 1 is lower side so what will be theta 2 it what will be the value of theta 2 here what is the value of theta 2 see here diagram p is going to infinite right p is going to infinite so what will be the value of theta 2 so 90 degree correct theta 2 should be 90 degree this point is going to infinity na you see at this point is going to infinity this was theta 2 right this was theta 2 so theta 2 will be 90 degree and theta 1 was what is the theta 1 here what will be theta 1 zero degree yes correct theta 1 will be zero degree since the line is becomes a straight here if you see this line is basically shifting to here and this is shifting to infinity so theta 1 will reduce to 0 and theta 2 will increase to 90 degree so now the main thing is to find the angle now the magnetic field will be mu not i by 4 pi r sin theta 1 plus sin theta 2 sin 0 degree plus sin 90 degree so it will be equal to You know, tau by four pi r sine ninety is one sine zero is zero. Understood? So it is basically half of the first case. In first case, what you found the magnetic field, you know, tau by two pi r. Now you can say that the wire becomes half. Like uh, we have cut the lower portion, right? So magnetic field be also becomes half, and it becomes you know, tau by four pi. R. without calculation you can also say you can treat it like first wire is cut into half if a infinite wire is cut into half it will also remain infinite so the magnetic field also become half getting my point yes sir so this is how we should calculate magnetic field in different cases so any doubt till here no sir
all right so based on this let us do some examples and okay before moving to the example i will uh, i will give you one or two more cases then we will do it for example so let us see another case so basically the finite wire is also application of basically the result comes from bias over slow and these all were straight wires right but in some cases we may get curved wires right we may get curved wires so in that case what will be the magnetic field let us see suppose curved wires suppose <clears throat> i have a wire circular wire current carrying wire carrying a current tie and you suppose center is like o and its radius is suppose capital r so you have to find the magnetic field at the center of the current carrying wire any idea how to find it so we can draw tangents to the circle and uh, then so i think it will be zero right why it is zero so because uh, the magnetic field at each and every point will be opposite like on the opposite sides and will cancel each other and the net will be zero at the center i will give you two uh, tricks uh, to solve uh, to you know find we have to generally remember the result actually what you are getting so there is also one method that is general method that i will dictate you and there is also one method coming in my mind which i will also try to explain you how to find so method 1 very easy bias of atla bias of atla seems to be simple or a normal formula but that is very useful now see here how we can find uh, apply bias of atla to find the magnetic field here suppose you know when you apply bios of atla what comes in mind is we will need an elementary length right or we need an elementary wire so we will consider a section of this circular wire suppose this section is having length dl it is a straight section since we are taking very small section 
and this is the point where we have to find the magnetic field obviously its distance will be r position vector will be r or its distance from this wire will be r the radius of the circle and current is moving along this direction so here angle what is the angle between ideal ideal and r what is the angle between ideal and r 90 degree correct here theta is 90 degree now our half of the problem is solved now you can apply bios law dv is equal to mu not ideal sin theta upon 4 pi r square right so mu not i is given dl is length sin 90 degree upon 4 pi r so this is the magnetic field due to a small element magnetic field due to a small elementary portion of the wire that comes to be like dv will be equal to here you know by 4 pi ideal upon r square that we are getting what will be the direction of magnetic field at point two? Outwards. Correct. Outwards. So here magnetic field will be outwards. So this is one element we have considered. When you will consider n number of elements, suppose I take element here also. That will also give outward magnetic field, right? That will also give same same kind of case is there if you take an element here that will also give outward magnetic field if you since the point o will always lie left to the wire right suppose i take this then magnetic field also will be outward so to find the magnetic field due to all such elements you have to integrate it right since all the magnetic fields are in the same direction so to find the magnetic field due to whole current loop we have to integrate it right so total magnetic field can be and it's not a tough integration total magnetic field can be found out by integrating db and that is mu naught by 4 pi is constant that will be outside r square is also constant i is also constant so only in integration will remain dl right so what is the dl means basically we have to take total length total length of the circular wire and what is that what is the total length of the circular wire 2 by r correct 2 pi r so mu naught i by 4 pi r square into 2 pi r so what is the magnetic field you are getting mu naught i by 2 r so this is all always you should remember magnetic field now onwards you should remember that magnetic field at the center of a current carrying while is mu naught i by 2 r not 0 understood yes sir not i by 2 r and that will be outward if current is in anti clockwise direction and if the current is in clockwise direction magnetic field will be inward so for the cases of loop you can also directly remember if current is in anti clockwise direction magnetic field always be outward and if it is current in clockwise direction it will be reverse so you just remember one thing anti clockwise means towards you outward 
clockwise is automatically inside getting my point yes sir so this is how we calculate magnetic field due to a current carrying circular wire at the center using biosolder second method also uh, was that is not much necessary but this is also i am doing it first time so let us try second method we can solve it or not i have also not tried it first one is biosolder very simple we can apply it there but also i am trying to see uh, or I, i i wanted to see how i can apply second method or not so i will relate it with the that general formula mu not by 4 pi d sin theta 1 and sin theta 2 let us see we can do it or not i am also doing it first time so let us try by that method so here so oh, what happens is here we have we have the simple wire right so i can say that i can say that this is a finite wire right this is a finite wire of length 2 pi r right i can say i can convert it into a finite wire of length 2 pi r getting my point or not yes sir and suppose this point is center o so what is the distance of center o r radius distance of the point o is always equal to radius understood yes sir so this length will be equal to pi r and this length is r so if we apply tan theta tan theta is perpendicular upon base to so pi r upon r that is pi what we are getting 2 pi r pi r or we can get, we don't need to get theta only we can find this distance also right like so from here like what will be this this distance this distance can be or we can also think it like that here also by this method we can also try it like here we can find this distance as r square plus pi square r square right but this will become more complicated if we are we are taking pi square in inside so let us think it in another way like suppose i am taking half of the wire like this suppose i am taking half of the wire is like this and the point is like this so you know current is moving in this direction right so yes, what sir. will be this angle if you see this angle will be equal to 90 degree or not yes. getting my point and here current is moving in this direction right so here the angle should also be 90 degree right so yes, sir. when we apply the formula for the magnetic field p is equal to mu not i by 4 pi and this distance is r 4 pi r so sin 90 plus sin 90 right sin 90 degree plus sin 90 degree So what we will get? We will not I by two pi r. We will not I by two pi r. This is we are getting due to first section. Hmm. But pi will create problem. 
i am leaving it as uh, leaving this as a homework you uh, all you can try it let us see we can get it this is just a trial we can get it or not but i i am sure we can get it something is missing there so you can also try it as a homework i will also see it i just try to we can do it or not but this method we know we can find out uh, the magnetic field like the first previous five watt law works and from this we can find it magnetic field as mu not i by 2 are right so i am not taking much time to get this one by method 2 so you try uh, you should uh, you can try it at your home i will also see it how we can get it or not so the main you know moral of this story is magnetic field at the center of a coil is mu not i by 2 right all right and what is the direction of magnetic field direction of magnetic field for anti clockwise should be outward and for clockwise it should be uh, inwards inward right so i haven't seen anyone to find magnetic field at the center by applying that method but i am getting a feeling that we can get so you try it we, we can get it or not i will also see sometimes all right so this is how we can find magnetic field at the center of a current carry coil right you know type by or where was the result we have written here we have written right we know type by 2 okay now the last case is for curve and also sometimes you are this was the due to you know full wire and some special cases we are also getting there are cases associated with if the wire is full like current carrying wire is like this and the radius is r current is vi so magnetic field at the center is d is equal to mu not i by 2r sometime what happens the wire becomes half like this right so in that case what will be the direction of what will be the value of magnetic field mu not i by 4r yeah b b at o becomes mu not i by 4r symmetry we have to apply and what will happen if it becomes arc suppose we have an arc suppose it is making 90 degree or 45 degrees suppose it is making an angle theta it becomes an arc so to find the magnetic field due to a current carrying arc at the center we will apply the unitary method and we can calculate it like this v is equal to mu not i by 2r theta upon 2 pi theta upon 2 pi so if the wire is making an angle theta if it is full wire theta will be 2 pi so magnetic field will be mu not i by 2r if it is half wire theta will be pi and magnetic field will be equal to mu not i by 4r and if it is making 45 degree and something we can put the value of theta but we must remember the here theta should be in radian not in degree theta should be in radian getting my point it should be in radian so magnetic field at the center of a current carrying arc is mu not i by 2 or theta by 2 pi understood yes sir all right okay so let us do some questions based on this then we will move ahead to find some to discuss the other concepts also so let us do some questions first we'll do some questions of neat then we will go to some questions of j
so let us see uh is taken in when placing it Let us see this question number 35. Very good question. I think that is the, you know, kind of mixed concept of all which we have studies. So try this question number 35. Little is difficult, not, but not much you can try. So try question number 35. <laughs> So let you try this. This is NEET 2015 question. So the direction of current is given wrong, right? Direction of current. So on one side. Yeah, yeah, that should be. Yeah, it's wrongly marked. It should be no along the wire. It should be opposite to what it has given. Printing mistake is there. It should be like this. But it may be like this. Don't consider it as a single wire. Don't consider it as a single wire. Take it as this direction. We will see. Take it which I have marked. Take this as a this direction which I have marked we will see that possibility also take this one as the red pen which I have marked
solving it yes sir sir i think it's option b so you got option b okay let us see <clears throat> so so here you know uh, he, here we have to see three sections of wire like this is section one this is section two and this is section three so now it is given that first the linear parts it says that the linear pa parts of the wires are very long in infinite wires okay so now at the center o we can find magnetic field due to first wire what is that same formula we have to apply mu not i by 4 pi r right mu not i by 4 pi r and it will be basically what is the direction of this what will be the direction of v1 what will be direction of b1 at o so minus k cap the point is in left direction right direction right it should be inward so i think you are correct it should be along minus k cap all right similarly we can easily find due to section 3 what will be the direction of magnetic field and what will be the value same value you know i by 4 pi r and it will also be along minus k cap what will be the magnetic field due to 2 Value of magnetic field due to section 2. So mu not i by 2 pi r. Mu not i by, by 2 pi r. It is a circular wire. What was the formula for circular wire? Mu not i by 2 r, right? So, so, but it's semicircle, right? Uh, so, it should be 4R. 
getting my point due to full circle it was mu naught i by 2 r it's a semi circle so it will be mu naught i by 4 r half of that and what is the direction what will be the direction of magnetic field minus i cap it is clockwise so it should go away from us yes it should be minus i cap good so now we can find it directly we have already we have all find uh, we have found all the magnetic field so net magnetic field just we can add the vector addition v1 plus v2 plus v3 so we'll get it as we can take common mu naught i by 4 pi r can be taken as common minus also we can take so we will get 2k and mu naught i by 4 pi r we are taking common so pi should also be multiplied so it will be pi i right so plus pi i uh, we are taking minus yeah we are taking minus outside so it should be plus pi correct so i think b is the correct answer you have got b is the correct mu naught i by 4 pi r 2k plus pi r got it hmm maimuna maimuna understood it very good question and it's a neat 2015 question so we must know this concept all right so this is how we should you know in a single problem we have applied all the concepts magnetic field of long wire half wire semicircle half circle full circle so such questions are very good when we are up, apply our multiple concepts and we can learn in a single question how to apply those concepts right so this is how we should proceed for uh, solving magnetic field due to finite wires and semicircular wires it is moving to the next question <coughs> Now solve question number 36. All of you try this question number 36. So both of you try this. This is need 2014 question.
trying it yes So direction is not required here. No, no need to give. If you can see the options, we don't need to give it in vector form. We only have to give it the magnitude. So I think option B. You got option B. Okay, let us check. So let us see what it says. We have two identical long conducting wires A O B and C O D are placed at right angles to each other. Okay. So suppose we have two wires, one wire is like this. and another wire is like this so two identical current carrying wires a o b suppose this wire is a o b and c o d so this is COD are placed at right angles to each other with one above other such that O is their common point okay for the two the wire carries current I1 and I2 respectively so suppose this is carrying current I1 and suppose this is carrying current I2 this point P is lying at a distance D from point P is lying at a distance D from O along a direction perpendicular to the plane containing the wires. So there is a point P. Suppose this one is X Y plane. So so the point P is along Z axis, right? Suppose this one is X, this one is Y. So basically, the point P is along Z axis and at a distance D from O. At a distance D from point O. So this is the point P, suppose here, along Z axis at a distance D. Okay. The magnetic field at the point P. So we have to find the magnetic field at this point. So what will happen is that basically these are long current carrying wires, and the main thing is that here magnetic field due to both the wires. If you see due to I1, the what will be the direction of magnetic field? At point P, it will be towards x axis, right? So, <coughs> magnetic field, if we see magnetic field due to wire 1, will be along i direction, 
similarly if you see magnetic field due to 2 will be along minus j direction getting my point or not yes sir and so to find the net magnetic field we will add it v1 plus v2 so obviously and what will be the magnitude of each will be equal since both are symmetric distance is same and so may not i by 2 pi d due to long wire and due to one it will be along i direction and minus j direction so what we have to do is we have to find basically magnetic field and sorry area is uh, current is also not equal right current is also not equal so we have to put we cannot take i common so we can give it like this v i1 i1 i and let me write it clearly we can be found out like this mu not i by distance is same 2 pi t but it will be i1 i minus i2 j right it will be like this this current are different understood yes sir so now we can find the magnitude Magnitude easily we can find P will be equal to mu naught by 2 pi t will be common and it will be under root I1 square plus I2. The main concept is both are perpendicular, so the resultant will be square of both. The main concept is that. In one line you can solve. Understood it? So the correct answer is basically not B. The correct answer is not B, the correct answer is D. Understood? Do not I by 2 pi D, I1 square plus I2 square under root. Sir, how did the root come, sir? When you find resultant of two vectors, perpendicular vector, what you have to take? Under root A square oh, plus okay, B square. Sir. That is why. The main thing is that. Understood it, Mamuna? So this is how uh, we can find this concept is simple. So but it is, is minus i2, right? But you know, when two vectors are perpendicular, whether it is plus or minus, their magnitude is always a square plus b square. Magnitude of you know a minus b or a plus b for perpendicular vectors are same. If you remember vector concept, like if you have two vectors, like r1 is equal to a i minus b j and you have r2 is equal to a i plus b j both will have same perpendicular vector same magnitude both will have magnitude a square plus so their magnitude is same whether it is a square or whether it is minus or plus two perpendicular vectors will always have magnitude under root a square plus b square since we are taking hypotenuse right getting my point yes. why it is so like suppose you have vectors like you have two vector like this suppose this vector is a and this vector is b both are perpendicular or suppose you have vector a or and suppose you have minus b so a plus b and a minus b both we have same hypotenuse this will be a square plus will be also a square plus b square that is why the resultant mag have same magnitude understood it so whether it is a plus yes. b or a minus b their magnitude will be same if a and b both are perpendicular same is the case here all right so let us solve one j question based on that we have some time left let us solve one j question based on that
Hmm. Let us solve this question number four. This is similar kind of question just we have done. So try this question number four. This is JE main 2020 question. So I am solving it, not much time left. So let us see, it says a very long wire AB, uh, D, M and DC is shown in the figure carrying current I. AB and BC parts are straight and DC form a circular turn DM and D of radius R. AB, BC parts are tangential to circular turn at N and D. All right. So we have to find the magnetic field at the center of this circuit. So see, uh, we can divide it in different sections. Like we have one wire one. This is wire two. And uh, this section is three. So what will happen is U to one this will require some calculation so I'm leaving it as a homework for both of you you try it at your home with peace of mind and with try it yourself otherwise we, I will solve it in the next class it will require some calculation angle calculation so it will need at least five to seven eight or maybe nine minutes so I will do it in the next class till now you can write it as a homework all right so any doubt till now no sir okay so try it and we will discuss in the next class so uh, it will be better if you all try it as a homework and you will solve it right so for today I'm ending here